الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Salishan Mahadur here at Sky Have Ours here field and in my hands here is we all know what is this. So before I fly this, so remember people give credit where the credit is due. DJI Inspire 1 is the original quadcopter. This one is WL Toys Q333, just a clone of the Inspire 1. Shame on you, WL Toys, for doing this. But hey, anyway. I'm a reviewer and I have to review it and fly it. I'm gonna review it and keep everybody informed what is clone and what is real. I do have Inspire 1 sitting right there inside that office. I might bring that out and fly it today. Remember DJI Inspire 1 is one of the best drones uh, out there for professional aerial filming and professional uh, commercial work, aerial filming work. So if you want to give credit, so if you want to be honest, go ahead and buy the DJI Inspire 1. But if you just want to play around and you're a kid, you might get away with WL Toys Q333. So it's a little windy here. Let's fly and see how it behaves. Okay, finally I made it work. And uh, because winds are high, so I'll put it in 80% uh, mode or 80%, uh, you know, the agility. Video is working properly, as you can see. Very dark image. So uh, here we go. Let's take off and see how it flies. Little Inspire. <laughs> oh, check it out. It's flying. And I will shift, shift the shape <laughs> and see how it does. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't stop laughing. Right now, the motors have pulled the arms all the way up. Uh oh, out of control. There is no, no control on it. So I'm gonna land it right there. It's just flying away. <laughs> it actually, even in 80% uh, mode, it's unable to cope with the, uh, uh, you know, winds. Anyway, Let's fly on 100% mode and in the legs uh, down mode is actually doing okay. Okay, so it tends to tilt forward really quickly all the time. I don't know why. So basically it's totally out of tune. Now I'm shifting the mode once again just to see what happens. It's always like a too much nose heavy. And now wings are totally up and it's flying. Okay, fine. In 100% mode, it's flying really nice now. And 80% uh, mode or anything else like that, it wasn't in control. Okay, it's going crazy again. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. You can see the propellers are actually not tuned <laughs> and it's running away again. Okay, it crashed. It tends to run away itself and it will have no control left at all. So I'm gonna put the uh, arms completely down and then see if it will lose control or not. So here we go. All right, so far it's flying. So far nice. Video is being recorded. You can see motors left and right. Uh, I mean, different motors at different times will come up and down because the uh, structure is very, very loose. It's, it's actually not very strong. It's kind of uh, flexible. And that is why time by time it will just go, oh, in a mode, <laughs> attacking mode where <laughs> it just, there isn't much control on the tilt angle and you cannot control it anymore it just goes with the wind it almost killed me just now you see all right my gopro is still shooting all right 
let's take off once again this time we'll keep the wings in the middle direction which is a straight okay now I have full control again you can see I can tilt forward and it's going forward ah man it's one of those uh, unstable quadcopter toys that you don't want to purchase okay now it's coming towards me so I have to be very very careful because at okay now now I have lost the, that control again see it's not tilting too much I have full forward ah, oh man no way I mean even a JJRC flies better than this okay we are coming back so basically in 40% mode I I'm sure I will be unable to control it okay 40% mode let's say well it's flying at least there okay winds died I mean winds are getting lower which is a good thing for me ah push forward okay back to 100% mode otherwise I'm unable to fly it and this side it will come really fast so I have to be very very careful so basically if I put the arms up then it is really losing control and it is not flyable let's go higher and see how it does with the winds so far the FPV video is alive so basically this much far okay I still have video wonderful ah and it just went out of the range and fell down now I have to walk all the way there and hope it survived let's go okay battery came out this means I have ruined my recording all right no problem I'll put the battery in again There we go i have video again okay video recording let's fly again how was sam eating little drone or little inspired copy did you like eating sam oh it is unstable man it is unstable it's not that stable as they advertise so we are flying again and this time I will actually shoot a segment so that we will see what kind of video it records so I'll keep it around me I'll not go fast or I'll not go far from me basically let's see if it sees me can I see myself yes there I am so a little downward downward all right now I can do a point of interest all right let's do point of interest hey oh man this is a killer machine no <laughs> at times it just wants to run into you for no reason <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay that is enough video so I'll stop recording and I'll record another session oh man this thing is a killer whoa, whoa. <laughs> it comes at me again so I don't know people say I get duds well I don't get duds man these things as they behave I just post videos accordingly now yes we have to give it to it this is a very fast flying quadcopter it can get some serious speeds and it can come at you with some serious speeds so yes it's not very stable but once you get used to it you're gonna have fun with it which I am having now so I'm used to its behavior and I can fly it around tries to stabilize itself refuses to fly faster let's fly in the test testing area for drone pilots I'm losing the signals I mean I'm losing the throttle sorry not signals that means I'm running out of battery don't hit the cone 
All right, back to the landing position. <laughs> shift to landing position. And that's all it can shift because the motors are actually pushing, uh, pulling the arms up. All right, stop recording and land. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That was all the battery left in this. You have seen the flight performance. You have seen how it flies. It's time we conclude about it. So basically, a clone of DJI Inspire One. That's the first thing. So if you want to buy, please go ahead and buy the original product and support the original product. Support DJI and DJI Inspire One and buy that if you really like this kind of shape. If not, if you still want to buy a toy, the wheel toy q33 right here is okay toy video system works keeps working until the radio control signals will start stop working so drone will fall i mean the quadcopter what happened to me the quadcopter will fall and your video signals are still working so fpv system in this one works really really nice and it has enough power to give you glitch free video video never broke on my screen uh, lcd screen down there i always had uh, solid control uh, solid signals video signals but it loses controls like about 100 meters it will lose controls and fall the control wise when it's in uh, landing shape or uh, mid shape it's fine when the arms go up in a flying shape it becomes much more agile to control and the motors geared motors they don't have enough power to actually control it so once again you have to get used to it it's uh, to its behavior and then you may have some fun with this flying it around and you may be able to cheat people that you own a DJI Inspire one maybe and this is just a toy WL toy Q33 thank you very much for watching I'm sure you are well informed now hey thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the coolest and regular RC videos RC shows RC reviews and videos and much more thank you very much for all your support Oh, ideas are coming. Look at that. Eat this pot, maybe. <coughs>